Howdy everyone, welcome back to another video on the Bix Keeps YouTube channel and today I'm going to be going over the top 10 key switches of all time. Of course, this is all my opinion, you guys can have your own opinion, but personally, these are all mine. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because personally, I think it would be a really, really good idea if you guys did so, if you are, you know, really into keyboards, because I think I give pretty good advice when it comes to keyboards. Also, make sure to leave a like on the video, a comment, and make sure to check all check out all the links in my description including my affiliate links my discord and my reddit make sure to go check all those things out all right so number 10 i'm gonna have to say aqua cs rose reds personally you cannot go wrong with an aqua cs rose red and and you might be saying but why is this top 10 like shouldn't it be like actual like top quality switches and to be in that top 10 you have to meet a few criteria quality good price for the quality and then I, I really don't know but personally I think these switches were a game changer and they were a huge hit in the budget scene so personally I think that really deserves a spot in the top 10 and right above that is another Akko CS switch and I'm gonna have to say the lavender purples fall above the Akko CS rose reds and personally uh, I'm not a tactile type of guy but uh, these tactiles actually feel pretty good. And personally, I think you can do a lot more with a tactile than you can with a linear, which is why I rated it higher than the rose red. It also has a really nice feel. At number eight, I'm gonna have to say the Cherry MX Hyperglides Black have to take that place. Personally, I've used these switches a lot on my 40% Daisy keyboard, and they feel really nice and smooth, and I think they are a very redeeming switch for Cherry MX after years and years of just terrible switches. Like, who likes the Cherry MX reds, or browns, or even blues for that matter? I don't think anyone has. At number seven, I'm gonna have to say the Turquoise Telios have to take that spot, and I personally have them in this board right here, and the reason why I have to put these so high up is because it just feels like I'm typing on a trampoline, if that really describes it well. I, I don't know how else to describe it, but it really just feels like that. And it feels so refreshing just to boop, 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 boop. You, you, know, you know what I'm talking about? Like, it feels incredible to type on this thing. And it just feels like I'm uh, typing on clouds. And um, the one downside is that these switches are $1.20 per switch. So that did not, that, that's why it's not in like top five or t even top three. But uh, yeah, you guys get the, the point. All right, so number six, I would say has to go to the Zeal PC click uh, clickies or I don't really know how to say it click Z's whatever uh, personally I don't have these switches I don't think they're really even out yet I haven't actually checked but the reason why I have to put them at number six is because personally I haven't used them yet and that's why they're not ranked that high yet but the reason I have to put them on the list is because of the modability of these switches you can switch them from a clicky to a tactile and then from a tactile to a linear what switches do that None. I, I've never seen a Switch do that, which makes it really, really cool, and it's very innovative, and personally, I like innovation. So, F everyone who says, oh, you haven't tried to Switch yet, uh, you, you can't really shave it in Top 10. Uh, I can, and I just did. Fuck on it. Okay, so I would say the number 5 spot has to go to the Holy Pandas, and you might be saying, well, Bix, the, the, the Holy Pandas are overrated. They're not even the best tactile anymore. They made a new version. <laughs> And that, I have to say, yeah, they did make a new version. However, I think the OG Env uh, Envire Holy Pandas, I don't even know if I said Envire right, I think they set the way for a very good, like, set of tactiles. Like, so many tact tactile switches came after these Holy Pandas, and I think the Holy Pandas set the standard pretty high, which is why they're number five. Okay, we're in the top four, and th the number four spot has to go to the Gator on Ink Blacks. I remember... You know, 2021, Gator on Ink Blacks were all the craze. Everyone was like, a Gator on Ink Blacks equal thuck. And personally, I bought them myself. I don't have them anymore because I sold the keyboard that they were in for like $300. Which, you know, profit, guys. Profit. I made profit. Which means, you know, love the switches. Like, I, I actually hated having to let those go. They felt so so good and so smooth and it just sucked to let those things go but you know they take the number four spot because of how good they feel okay so the number three spot has to go to the bingzu linears and if you've never heard of the bingzu linears that's okay 
Uh, I don't think many people have done reviews on them. However, they are a really, really smooth switch. Even stock. I actually haven't even lubed these things yet. They are really smooth. I have them in my Keychron, and I can assure you, these things, whoo, like they're smooth as fuck. And my brother's cat just walked in the room because he heard me speaking. Uh, <laughs> but uh, these things don't really need to be looped. They're not scratchy at all. And they're smooth right out of the package. Okay, so the number two spot has to go to the Drock Linears. I'm going to have to say number two, Drock Linears. Personally, my favorite switch of all time. Like, I have it in two of my boards, you know, my uh, my Bakaneko and my RK61. And everyone from the OG days of the Bix Cubes YouTube channel can probably tell you, you know, Duroc, Duroc, Duroc is so cool, uh, Duroc this, Duroc that. Like, Duroc was all the craze on my YouTube channel, which is why I had to rate them so highly. So on to the f number one switch, the Cherry MX Browns, of course. Like. Who can go wrong with some Cherry MX Browns? Uh, they're not particularly good. I mean, you can make them sound good, but they're not really tactile at all. Uh, I, I mean, I felt them, and since I have big boy fingers, they, they feel like linears to me. However, they are probably the most memed on and most popular switch out there to the point where I would have to say it's one, like, the number one, like, top switch of all time. They have to be. They have to be, even though they're not good. Number one switch. So hopefully I triggered someone out there uh, <laughs> at my top switch, but uh, you know, I don't really care. And uh, you know, that's gonna be the hashtag. Hashtag, I, uh, comment hashtag, I don't care if you made it to this point of the video. Also make sure to subscribe, like the video. If this video gets 50 likes, I'll do another video like this. And uh, instead of key switches, I'll do keycaps. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.